Okay, now we need to shoot. As usual, add another sprite to represent the bullet. Also give a bullet behavior to the bullet. And destroy outside layout. In this case, add a variable shooter. When we press spacebar, we spawn a bullet object at image point bullet. Then we set bullet angle of motion to tank's angle and set shooter to player number. We will use this value to prevent the bullet hitting the same tank that spawned it. As a first thing, we will destroy the bullet when colliding with obstacles. Now to test the collisions, create another tank and set its player number to player 2. Also make sure the controls only respond to player 1. Copy and replace the keys to respond to player 2. We will use the numpad and enter key for player 2. This is how you make a basic local multiplayer sharing a keyboard. It's gonna be a hell to play with someone else, but it will work for the demonstration. Then if bullet collides with tank and bullet shooter value is different than the tank it just hit, we make the tank flash.
but you can see that the player can still move. Here is where the variable active comes to play. We will only register the controls if active equals 1. Obviously, we set it to 0 when we get hit. Now that we can move, first we stop any rotation speed, disable bullet, and set speed again to make it rotate out of control. Now, to prevent multiple hits when we are already damaged, we'll use the same method as in the Mega Man series, using the flash behavior to evaluate the current situation before registering the hit.